Hey everyone, Snarth is here. I'm back with the next video for my DayZ server hosting series. In this video, we are taking what we've learned in episodes 5 and 6, and we're going to add a black market trader to our server. Except we won't be editing the safe zone files. So let's jump into the DayZ editor and look at what I've built so far. We have a simple outpost set up in the Krona Castle. If you want to learn how to build something like this, check out the video in the corner. One last thing we need to do in this file is get coordinates for an NPC that players will interact with. Let's spawn in the survivor Judy. She won't be visibly attached to your cursor, but you can click to place her. She also won't be visible in the box, so let's double click the marker to see the properties. And then enable simulation. Now we can move her to a location that we want. Once we have her in the position and rotation we want, double click on the marker again to see the coordinates and make note of these for later. Then we can delete the NPC. Finally save the file and close out the editor. Back on our desktop, go to your user profile, documents, daisy, editor. Copy the file we just saved and head over to our server. And then paste the editor file into the following directory. Now that we have a custom area on the server, we need to make the files for the trader to function. I recommend watching my video that explains these next few files. First, let's copy an existing traderzone.map file so we can use it for our own trader. And then rename it. Inside this new file, let's change the display name. And then use the coordinates of the NPC we noted earlier. Then I'm going to remove all the items under stock. and then save the file. Next, we can copy a trader.json file and then rename it. Change the display name. And we're going to remove the categories that it currently has. Let's save this file here. And let's go to the market directory. And find a category we want to give to this trader. I'm going to copy the name of the sniper rifle category. And then go back to our trader JSON file and paste this as a category name we want the trader to have. And then we can remove the same category from the weapons trader file. And back on the JSON file, we can set the category to 1, so players can buy and sell items from this category. You can add as many categories as you wish, and even make or combine your own categories as you see fit. Let's just take a look at the category we picked, just to see what the prices and everything are set as.
Next, we can copy a trader.map file. Once again, rename it. Edit this part to reflect the trader.json file name we made earlier. Then edit the coordinate data. For this example, I'll keep the NPC asset and the gear the same. And then save the file. And now we have our custom trader file set up, as well as a custom Daisy editor file uploaded to the server. Go ahead and start your server. And load into the game. Let's teleport over to the castle. And walk up to the trader. And there's our black market trader. A final note. If you use this method to make your own custom traders, I do recommend that you remove the object.map files for any default traders that come with expansion. This will just ensure your server is not spawning extra assets that you may not be using. I hope you found this video helpful. If you can, leave a like and consider subscribing. Thanks.